I would like to show you how I teach my students to count coins. The one thing I had the most difficulty with was teaching my kids to go from counting by tens to counting by fives to counting by ones and so on. So what I thought I would teach my kids to do is just to completely count by fives. So what we do is we look at the first coin, which is a half dollar, and we count by fives until we get to the uh, amount that the half dollar is worth. It's 50 cents. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Then we have the quarter. It's worth 25 cents. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Then we have the dime. It's worth 10 cents. 5, 10. Then we have the nickel. It's worth 5 cents. 5. Then we have the penny. It's worth 1 cent, so it doesn't get a mark. Then the students can count the marks. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91. So we have 91 cents. Now, what's great about this is that no matter what, um, no matter how they are in order, you can still count using the same process. And we can count on 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, because that's a quarter. So we can put 25 cents. 5, 10. That's a dime. So 25, 30, 35 cents. Then we have our half dollar. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, because it's worth 50 cents. So 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Then we have our nickel, which is worth 5. 85, 90. 90, 91. So our total is 91 cents. I hope this helps you teach your students how to count money.